Hi guys, it's Patrick is here, and we're talking about my build. I'm gonna be going through why I think this build continues to be a good build even after the balancing patch. I'll also be talking about how I play my build and how this build can be replicated using early game parts. If you've seen my previous video that was put out on the day of the patch, you can see that the performance in boss fight wasn't that different than before the patch. I think I defeated that specific boss around the same time, so the damage output is still there, even though it was decreased a little bit. Songbird's grenades exploding when it reaches the effective range if it doesn't impact that actually can be used as a specific tactic. So we'll go through how to replicate this build relatively early game. So I'll load up a pre-build. Every piece of parts used in this build to replicate my build for the early game can be obtained by the end of chapter 2. After you have completed the ocean crossing, you will have access to all parts listed here. And the performance is pretty much the same. There are obviously a little bit of difference. The early game build actually has a bit more speed compared to my build, but but the reason why I, I like my build is for the looks, the visual. I also like the fact that it has faster delay and energy recharge. The only difference here compared to my build is frame parts performance wise relatively the same. The main big difference here is the left hand melee weapon. The reason why I chose the core oxidator at the end is because of the AOE capabilities. As you can see the charge attack has a AOE sweep. My chosen weapons oftentimes have AOE capabilities, such as the Songbird that has blast radius of 60. The missile launcher that I chose has multi lock, 10 missiles from this one launcher. Then you can lock on 10 targets, one missile per target, but obviously you're not always going to be targeting that many enemies. And Zimmerman is just because. It's still Zimmerman, it performs, and it's a shotgun, it does its job. We'll talk about the cooldown. Zimmerman has the shortest cooldown of all the weapons I have chosen. The reload time is 2 seconds. It's pretty fast, basically you want to use it as much as you can. Obviously you're going to wait for the right timing so that you don't just whiff. The core oscillator cooldown is 199. You can't quite tell what that means from just looking at the number and we'll go through a uh, AC test to show but it comes out to about six or seven seconds with the missile launcher you have a reload time of 6.4 that's not the actual total cooldown that you have to consider the total cooldown for this weapon is a little bit more difficult and the reason why is because it does not launch all 10 missiles immediately. It takes time to launch all 10 missiles sequentially. It takes time for the missiles to launch until empty. Then that's when the reload times start to count. Plus, you also have to consider lock-on time. And that's the homing lock time on the weapon, plus your FCS. Your choice of FCS will affect total cooldown. Because you have to wait until you have achieved lock before you launch again or else you're just gonna miss your target completely and of course if you're gonna be multi-targeting then that increases your lock on time some birds have a reload time of 6.4 just like the missile launcher but it's a two shot grenade cannon so it has the split second delay between the two grenades being shot out 
so the total cooldown is actually not as long as the 10 shot missile launcher so the reason why I like this loadout is because of the overall cooldown of the weapons are not going to be right on top of each other so rarely would you be completely out of actions to do this is accounting for the boost kick that you're able to utilize for adding into your combo so let's show my optimal combo and what that means is that the enemy is not going to be shooting at us so we won't have to dodge this is optimal situation you will be you'll likely not be able to achieve this in life combat situation but this is what you will strive to achieve and I'll break it down so basically you will assault boost shoot the missile launchers while assault boosting and as you get closer to the enemy you want to fire Zimmerman and then once you get even closer to the enemy at the last second you want to boost kick and then after boost kick you will either stagger the enemy or you will use the melee attack the non-charged melee attack to hopefully then stagger the enemy or do direct damage with the melee weapon. After the melee weapon, if the enemy is still staggered, then you definitely want to immediately shoot the songbirds. But if the enemy is no longer staggered, you will want to make sure you shoot the songbirds after the enemy has reached its position where it's going to take a pause like the ibis or uh, say any of the end bosses which zips around quite rapidly but takes long pauses so i'll show the optimal combo that you more may not be able to achieve but what you're striving to achieve mid combat So as you can see in that encounter, the weapons have different cooldowns overall and there's always something that you can do, including the boost kick. And the reason why you want to have a fast regen on your energy is the boost kick because you want to be able to have a soul boost readily available and that's achieved by having the fast generator some people use the Santai but as you can see my build cannot take it so Santai has an even faster energy recharge stat and the energy recharge delay is even shorter but unfortunately with the loadout that I have I cannot utilize it As you can see, the early game version of this build performs pretty much the same. Not a whole lot of difference other than the melee weapon. Even after the balance patch nerfed the weapons that I use, it continues to be a well-performing loadout. I think it's very versatile for lots of different situations due to the fact that the weapons chosen have abilities to deal with multi-target and single target and it all comes down to how comfortable you are with the loadout familiarizing yourself with the weapon cooldowns the overall cooldown not just the reload time I'll also be attaching some gameplay of this build 
at the end there will be some spoilers just so that you know and if you still have not finished the game definitely be warned all right guys that's all for today
tug of war. Fires that haunt Rubicon.